Hi everyone, this is Evelyn Ash, and I'm doing another video. This time I'm going to do a couple different things. I'm going to just show you how to make a poppet, um, and then I'm also going to show you how to make a jar for hexing, cursing, and war water. Um, you can do a lot of this baneful kind of magic. It's all kind of in the same vein. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the poppet first because you can actually include it into your jar. Um, so I'm going to show you that first, make a separate video, then cut it in half and do the rest of the jar video in the second part of the video. Um, so first you want to get yourself a pape. Um, you can buy these or make these. I stopped making them because it was just way too time consuming. Um, but you can use the, if you're going to make your own, um, try to get the fabric, uh, some clothing of the person that you're trying to hex or curse if you can, which is actually pretty easy. Don't steal anything, but usually like a girlfriend or boyfriend have clothes from the other person. Um, so, you know, you can do that. That would make it more powerful, but I like to use just regular poppets. Um, I think they're like six inches high or so, and I get them in bulk. Um, so you want to make this as personal as possible. Every single one of these is going to be unique because of the relationship that you had with the person, um, the items that you have, what you believe in, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, first, we wanna start off by protecting ourselves. So I just have some pink Himalayan salt that I put into here. You just wanna grind it up. I like using pink Himalayan salt, but you don't have to. You can just use regular table salt. And then we're gonna take some water and we're just gonna add it to it. We're just gonna make some salt water and really quickly, um, you know, we're just gonna mix it up and we're just gonna hold it in our hands and kind of imbue it and bless it and just ask the universe or your deity to protect you. Imagine yourself being full of white light. Um, imagine yourself being protected and surrounded by your ancestors, whatever your belief system is. Just take some time, meditate on the salt water you know just know that it is a form or a tool to cleanse um, anything that it touches or that it surrounds um, that it banishes negativity that you imagine light in the dish expanding going outward going into your body uh, etc so you know if you don't know how to do this yet definitely look into it the, it, like I said in my other bunny video, we're just now stepping into some, kind of like this level two of witchcraft. You're getting more involved. You have more objects. You don't need all this stuff, but this is just stuff that I have. Um, and I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. Again, use what you have, use what you want, use your intuition. So again, starting off, we're just making this really quick, the salt water. You can use it to cleanse the area. Just say I banish negativity from this area. I surround myself with light light, I'm protected by the universe, I'm protected by my deity, whoever that is. I cleanse this area of all negative energy and I ask the universe to hear my requests and have these things come to pass immediately. I am using karmic currency to bring these things into my reality. Um, so, you know, if you don't know what karmic currency is, is basically you can't do anything to anybody else or they can't do anything to you that you don't deserve. For example, um, like I like to use, you're in a restaurant, your boyfriend flirts with a waitress and she doesn't flirt back and you try to curse the waitress. Um, nothing's going to happen to her. She didn't do anything. But if she, you know, went into the other room and slept with your boyfriend in the bathroom of the restaurant and he cheated on you and sh she knew you were together and whatever, and you know, then you try to hex her, um, or curse her, then she willingly was part of the cheating and she has some karmic currency that you can use. So um, that's just a really easy example. So, you know, you just can't hack strangers for no reason. You have to have some kind of good current, you know, like I call it karmic currency. You have some, some kind of currency to use against the person, good or bad, um, for any kind of ritual. And um, if they have it, you know, coming to them and if karma hasn't come to them yet, you're basically just taking karma and you're funneling it into a direction that you want and asking it to happen in this way in this time, um, for example. So that being said, so this is how you make a poppet. I'm trying to hurry because I don't want to make these videos too long. Take a poppet. You're going to dedicate it to the person. You're going to write the person's name, full name, their date of birth. And then you're going to write all over the poppet things that you want to have happen to them. Um, my pen's over here, but you're going, so again, name, date of birth, you know, you can write, um, I, break your leg, break your arm, sadness, depression, someone cheats on you, um, someone does to you what you did to me, like whatever, whatever it is you're asking for, judgment-free zone, I don't care what it is, this is your, your ritual, your poppet, your, your deal, 
you are taking karma and you're filtering it into a direction, asking the universe to have this happen in a certain way. That's all this is. Um, so you're taking a poppet, dedicating it to this person, and I have instructions. I don't know if I've ever posted these instructions, um, but I have them in email. So you can always email me and ask me how to dedicate a poppet, and you can make these for yourself or you can make them for other people, uh, depending on what you're asking for. So to dedicate a poppet, you just you know you're making a personal. Um, I like to cut the side open with a pair of scissors or a scalpel. Take out the stuffing after I've written all over it because it makes it easier with the stuffing in it. You're gonna stuff inside of it your intentions. So I don't have a piece of paper here, but um, so you're gonna basically write on a piece of paper. I don't know why I don't ever have paper ready. Hang on. So you're gonna take a picture. I like, if you can, get a picture of the person. This is just from a card someone gave me. I'm using it for all my, my videos. So you're going to try to get a picture of the person or the couple that you're trying to break up. Um, get a piece of paper. Write down your intentions. Be as specific as possible. You're going to fold it up as tiny as you can. Put it inside the poppet. You're going to take the picture of the person you want to hex, for example. Write all over it the things that you want to have happen to them. Um, you know, fold it up, put it inside the poppet. You'd be surprised what fits into these things if you just fold them up tight enough. If you're trying to break up two people, you're gonna write down what you want uh, to have happen to them. You're gonna wanna cut. <clears throat> Ideally, you wanna get a picture of the people together or make it. There's lots of apps where you can take pictures and put them together and have like a seamless line between them. So you have a picture of them together. Um, so get a picture, write all over it what you want to have happen. Make sure you cut it down the middle or rip it so you're separating the two and you can put um, you know, that inside the poppet or into your jar later on. So just keep that in mind for the next part of the video. So you have your intentions, you have your picture if you have it. It's not a big deal if you don't. Um, date of birth isn't a big deal, but try to get as much information as possible. You're putting it in the poppet. Next, sorry I'm talking fast, I'm trying to hurry. Um, you're gonna hold it in your hands and you're gonna you know, think about this person to say, something along the lines of, you know, I dedicate this poppet. This poppet is a physical representation and manifestation of John Doe, born, you know, January 1st, 2000. Um, everything that I say uh, to this poppet will come into existence and happen to this person. Everything that I write and put inside the poppet will come into existence and happen to this person. Um, everything that I do this poppet will be reflected into my reality and his reality or hers, whatever. Um, so you're just going to say things like that. Really focus on this poppet being connected to the person. You can use their semen. You can use their vaginal fluid. You can use their blood. It makes it even stronger. So just keep that in mind. Not necessary, but whatever you have. Put articles of, put their business card in there if they have it. Put articles of their clothing. Um, if you know the person and you're still around, you can have them put it in underneath their mattress and have them sleep on it. Um, you know, be creative, follow your intuition, do some research on how to, you know, make poppets. It's all about energy and making this thing connected to the person as much as possible. So now that you're, you have your poppet, you can either, you know, destroy it immediately or you can hang on to it and you can continually hex the person or whatever. And you can also reverse the hex. That's another nice thing is that say, you know, the person you know, did something and you, they, the karma came to them and what you asked for happened and you're like, okay, enough is enough. Uh, for example, I hexed an ex-boyfriend and I put toothpicks in, the, in his back and I, I, I hexed him and I wanted him to, to be hurt or something it had to do with his back. So I put toothpicks in his back of the poppet and then shortly after he slipped and fell at work and he was out of work for a couple weeks and I was still involved with him and I felt really bad. <laughs> so I hey, took out the toothpicks and I, I asked the universe at the time, but I didn't have any deities that I worshiped or anything. And I said, oh, please reverse this curse. I don't want his back to be hurt anymore. You know, something along those lines. I want to reverse this, check him out. And I, you know, asked for it to stop and it stopped. And he went, he got better and he went back to work. So you can always kind of reverse things. Um, you know, every situation is different. Every person's different. You know, if you have any questions, just let me know. It's, it's not complicated. It's pretty easy, but there's some things that you need to know about it. Um, so, you know, just this video is kind of like a general guideline or reference point. Um, it's again, it's really easy. So don't overthink it either. Just remember karmic currency is like the biggest key. They'll, it'll happen to them. You're just directing the karma to this person in the way that you want it to happen. That's really all you need to know. So you made your, your poppet, you dedicate it to this person. 
um, you put your intentions into it you can either sew up the side or you know just kind of leave it open for future things you want to put in there you can do as many rituals with the puppet as you want you can hex it as much as you want kind of the more the better but really once is really kind of all you need technically uh, hang on I'm just gonna drink a second okay <clears throat> so you know, keep your poppet in a nice, safe place where no one's going to find it. No one can touch us. Do not let anybody touch us unless it's the person you're hexing. Um, you know, keep it in a safe place. It's sacred. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the end of part one. Um, actually, let me just add one more thing. So you can actually get little medallions. You can put your energy into little medallions for hexing, cursing, love, whatever. And you can put those inside of the poppet. You can tie them. You can sew them onto the poppet. Uh, porcupine quills are another great thing you could put inside the poppet or stick into it. Here's some porcupine quills that I have here. And you can either put them in the poppet or you can put them in the jar later. Nice drop one. Um, so just a side note, I just want to add a few things to the poppet. I forgot. Um, you can, you know, use oils for the poppet. For example, the love oils you can put on, or this one is a breakup oil. You can put that on the picture of the pe the couple that you want to break up. You can put it all over the poppet. You can make two poppets. Um, if you're going to do a breakup ritual, I don't have another poppet here. I'd have to go across the room. But basically for the breakup poppets, you put them together. You tie a black string around them. Um, you cut the string, and while you're cutting it, you say something along the lines of, you know, their connection is broken, their tie is broken, their soul tie is broken, these two were separated. Really just think of whatever comes to mind, say whatever you want to have happen, it's super easy. You can get into the next level of it, and you can write out things in Latin that's, yes, it's more powerful, yes, it's stronger, but <clears throat> if you're not at that level yet, then don't go there. Just relax just chill just do whatever you know you have whatever you can think of just it's all about your intention and whatever you put into it because that's really what's going to make things happen is whatever energy you're putting into this thing is what's bringing into reality so you can get as complicated as you want you can get as simple as you want it really just takes a piece of paper a pen a poppet just as, again just for poppet magic right now um and you're just writing things down Again, paper, pen, pop it. That's really all you need. You can get as complicated as you want with it. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of the pop it part of it. I'll be doing the war water, breakup, banishment, jar videos next.